clean goal. However, the game's lasting significance may well be the continued rehabilitation of Quinn's partner, Clive Allen. Allen, who's been out of favour under Howard Kendall and who's had to sit out while the new boys have come in. When you're fit to play and uh, you're sitting there watching the games, and uh, it is very, very frustrating. And, and uh, it's difficult then to get yourself going because you know that uh, you're working hard week in, week out, but not playing. And, that, and that, that's, uh, that's very difficult for a professional footballer. It's been Adrian Heath and Wayne Clark sharing responsibilities up front until Alan came back and scored against fellow strugglers Luton last Saturday. I've been in situations where I've been dropped before and uh, I've battled my way back each time and uh, that's the case this time. And as I say, I, I, I want to stay involved, I want to stay at Manchester City. Um, I enjoy everything about the club um, and there's a battle there to be won and hopefully I'm going to be part of that you know, winning battle. The seeds of a partnership between Alan and Quinn were sown on Wednesday night. Alan believes the new signing could be the spark to ignite City's revival and his own. To play with a big man like that who, who you know, occupies defenders because he is a threat in the air is good for myself because I feel that I can possibly exploit the spaces that he creates. And I think you saw, as I say, the beginnings of a partnership there on Wednesday. I enjoyed playing with him. I mean, I think he's one of the best finishers in the last 10 years in, in British football. Uh, usually I look in envy from the other team and watch him score against us, but uh, it's nice, obviously, to play with him. Alan's poaching instincts were evident on Wednesday night. It's the single-minded approach that gets goals. At this stage, it's all about playing for the team. I, I feel I'm a, I'm a better all-round player now than perhaps I was a few years ago when I was young and just scoring goals. But do you feel that you've got to be scoring for Manchester City nearly every game to keep your place? Um, not necessarily. I think the most important thing is results and I think you begin to appreciate that as, again, the more experienced you become. Um, and the results are so crucial now, not who's scoring the goals. It doesn't matter who scores the, the winning goal, it matters uh, that we get the points.